Good morning, Calvary. My name is Johnny Flores. I'm a retired pastor from Southern California, and presently I'm a volunteer pastor here at Calvary and chaplain of the Iron Horse Saints. You know, in the Gospels, Peter is described as what I would describe as perhaps the most human of the apostles. I mean, oftentimes, Peter would say and do the wrong things. But in Mark chapter 8, Peter says something about Jesus that is spot on. Let me read to you from Mark chapter 8, beginning with verse 27. Jesus and his disciples went on to the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked them, who do people say that I am? Now understand that leading up to this, Peter and the others had witnessed and experienced how Jesus had fed 5,000 with the lunch of a little child. And then he heals a blind man on top of that. And I don't know about you, but I would be just blown away by Jesus at this point. So Jesus' question here is perfectly timed. Who do people say that I am? Verse 28, they replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. But what about you, Jesus said? Who do you say that I am? Peter answered, you are the Messiah. The question Jesus asked, who do you say that I am? Peter answered that right. And you are the Messiah, Jesus. Now allow me to ask you the same question this morning. Who do you say that Jesus is? Is Jesus just another one of the prophets from way back in the day? Is he just another historical figure, a religious leader? Is he some kind of magic man? Or is Jesus simply another acquaintance of yours? Allow me to invert this passage a bit. Let's take a look at it from the opposite position. What if Jesus asked you today, what would you have to say if he said, who are you today? Who are you? You know, God's word is filled with amazing descriptions of who Christians are in Christ. But I want us to focus on just one of the ways that describes us that is found in John chapter 10. Here Jesus describes you and I. He describes his people in a simple yet what to me is a beautiful way. In John 10, Jesus says, My people I call by name. I lead them out. I am the door. If anyone enters through me, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pastures. To me, pastures are green, and they are places where we find rest, where we find peace. And then he continues on. Jesus says to us, My people follow me. They know my voice. A stranger they simply will not follow. They flee from him because they do not recognize a stranger. Now each of us has a story about our life journey with Jesus. My story includes how Jesus has kept me on this salvation journey for near four decades. And I've learned, if I've learned anything, it has been this one thing. Jesus knows me far, far better than I know myself. You see, like Peter, too often I say and I do the wrong things. But you know, Jesus is never surprised by any of it. You see, before God made us, he knew us. He's always known us and has always known that we would say and do the wrong things. But rest assured, he loves us with an everlasting love. So be at peace today, Calvary. Be at peace knowing that God holds us in the palm of his loving hand. And listen, no power, no power can separate us from his love. God bless you today with every good and perfect thing that comes from him. Have a great day.